Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Tindai. Today I want to start off by just saying thank you to all my subscribers. I want you to know that I appreciate each and every one of you for your faith in me, your support, your love, uh, for continually coming back to my channel and going through my content. And I also want to say thank you to those of you that have not actually subscribed to my channel but uh, regularly um, watch my, my, my videos and show support in that way. So I, I just want you to know that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much for your continued support. Now today I'm doing another one of my favorite, favorite grains. Um, I'm going to be making um, organic spelt flake porridge. Now I haven't had this porridge uh, in 2021 yet. Uh, I wanted to do it on a day where I've got enough time. It's a little bit more hardy, needs a little bit more time to cook, so it takes a little bit longer to cook. Um, and one of the reasons why I love spelt is because even though it's got gluten in it, I'm not I'm not a celiac, so I don't suffer from, from celiac, but I wanted to bring you content with regard to stuff that's got no for, for, for celiacs um, out there. Um, because I know a few celiacs out there. However, this is just a grain for everybody except for the celiacs. Now, one of the good things about um, spelt is that it's high in calcium, selenium, vitamins B1, B6, E. Um, it's also high in zinc and protein. Now, for those of you that tend to go for things like oats and stuff like that, that's all good. Go for oats. But this uh, original grain is what you need to be eating. And some of the other original grains that I've, I've, I've featured in, in, in my um, in my previous shows. So, spelt, look up spelt. There's also spelt grain. Now, with this, like I said, it, it's, it's got a bit of a bite to it. It takes a little bit longer to cook. So I tend to soak this before I cook this. However, we're focusing on the little brother, the flakes, the spelt flakes. Um, like I said, high in protein, high in zinc, and around about this time of year, it is absolutely freezing outside. It is blitz, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little footage of the garden um, where there's still a little bit of snow and ice on the grass. Um, even though the sun's shining, it is minus eight degrees outside right now. Minus eight degrees. Um, so that should tell you everything you need to know um, with regards to the weather and why I'm going for these hearty grains. That are, that are packed full of nutrients and vitamins that are good for your body. Um, so for this recipe, I'm gonna need spelt flakes, shelled hemp seeds, dates, and sea moss gel. Um, and also, I forgot, my distilled magnetized shungite water, which is somewhere in the background. I'm not gonna fit it in there. You already know what I use when I'm cooking anyway. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so in the pan, I've added one and a half cups of um, spelt flakes. Uh, so it's, 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 a, it's a mug, really, uh, as opposed to a cup. And then what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to add some of my shunga water, water to it and just bring that to the boil, okay? And then what I'm going to do is on the side, I'm going to make my milk using the shelled M seeds, the dates, and the sea moss, which I'm going to add to this, and then I'm going to let it simmer, yeah? Cool. Okay, so for the milk, I'm gonna add half a mug of shelled hemp seeds. I'm gonna add my dates. And a ton of sea moss gel. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. And then top it up with your water. There we go. So in there, I've got half a cup of shelled hemp seeds. Uh, I've got dates, and then I've added some sea moss. Now I'm just adding my, um, I'm just adding my uh, sea moss water. I just had to turn that down, it was a bit noisy. I'm gonna blend this for 30 to 40 seconds, and then I'm gonna add it to the um, spelt flakes. Cool. Okay, so this has been simmering for about five minutes with water. As you can see, it's starting to soften. Um, now it's time to add. So I'm just gonna turn the heat up a little bit. And I've blended my milk. Add that in there. Yeah. 
There we go. So I try and make everything myself simply because it's better for you. You know exactly what you're ingesting and it's better for your health. So that's one and a half cups of um, spelt flakes. And then I've added shelled hemp seeds, half a cup. I've added about a liter of water to make my, my milk and the water that I've also used in there to just start it off before adding my milk. And then what I'm gonna do is, now that it's, it's come to start to simmer, I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit, cover it, let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Keep checking it, keep stirring it, making sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom, depending on what kind of pan you use. Um, I don't use any sugar or anything like that. I use dates, which are my natural sweetener. And then I, some, I don't like to use agave. I, I just want to stick to dates because um, I prefer dates. I also use them when I'm cycling and stuff like that. So I find that they give you a nice, good, clean energy and you don't need too many of them to sweeten your, your porridge. Uh, the reason why I'm making so many porridges is because it's winter, it's minus eight outside. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is, this is done, this is ready. Um, time to serve up and enjoy. This is ready. Perfect. This is my favorite part when I start to dish my porridge. I like it really thick, but you don't have to make it this thick. You can make it um, a, little, a little runnier than this, but I really like my porridge thick and I like loads of it. I like to eat shit loads. That's a lot of food right there. <laughs> uh, that is a lot of food. Okay, and then I'm gonna garnish it with some um, blueberries. Yeah, some blueberries. And these blueberries have got a little bit of date, date syrup and chili flakes, okay? And a bit of salt, sea salt. And then I'm gonna put some shelled hemp seeds. Just gonna put some shelled hemp seeds like that. Yeah. Omega-3, guys, remember Omega-3? Omega-6, so you, what you want to do is you want to um, balance your Omega-3 and your Omega-6, so it's a, a ratio of one to one, and that's how you lose weight. And then, just to finish it off, a little bit of date syrup. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. So there you have it. Spelt porridge with um, blueberries, with date syrup, hemp seeds, and chili flakes enjoy oh, let me try it actually let me see what it tastes like oh my god that is awesome that tastes amazing you got the little bite from the um, hemp seeds it just gives it that little bit of texture the porridge is very soft it's um, very tasty there's no aftertaste. It's, it's really nice. The, it, it's not too sweet. I can't even taste the sea moss. There's no trace of sea moss in this at all. Um, this is wild crafted sea moss. So it's not going to have the 92 minerals. I don't know how many minerals that are, are in there because it's, it's wild crafted. It's, it's grown in the sea. I've also got the wild harvested sea moss, which is the, the or naturally growing in the sea attached to rocks and stuff like that, which has got 92 of the 102 minerals that are found in your body. So in this, this is packed full of nutrients. The ones that you get in the spelt, the ones that you get in the sea moss, the ones that you get in the uh, hemp seeds. So here I've got a really good healthy breakfast. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe for more content about good, healthy foods, what I do in terms of cycling, how I maintain my bikes, uh, anything in life in general. So, yeah, see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye now.